everybody, this your girl Shanice Alicia and we are back with another video. Now y'all already know, if you're not subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing right now. Go ahead and press that red subscribe button baby and tap the bell because you don't want to miss when I upload again. Anyway, y'all, as you can see from the title, I know, I know, I know. A lot of y'all probably like, well, Shanice, what did you expect, sis? <laughs> did you think something was going to change? You knew better. You knew better. Why'd you waste your money? I know. I know. But I'm only doing this video because I promised y'all that I would take y'all through me revitalizing my hair after my braids. And I just really thought back to my ultimate favorite shampoo conditioner and deep conditioner because i wanted to do something that was super 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 good for my hair and i just thought back to this you know manuka honey and oil line that shea moisture has now i do love their raw shea butter um line that they have that is actually in my staple products video but this one right here i absolutely love especially that deep conditioner it's the truth so I said, well, let me try them out again because they've never failed me in terms of that particular line, right? So I go on Target and I'm just like, oh, Jesus, y'all got some more product? Don't mind if I do. So I picked up another piece to this line, um, which was actually just added in, not sure when they did this, but it's the Intensive Hydration Twisting Defining Custard. Okay, um, what I said, twisting, defining. I said twist, defining. I told y'all, I'm educated, I swear. Whew. So, um, anyway, I picked that up and I was just like, okay, let me try this out. I actually did need a styler, might as well, it's here. I'm not gonna go crazy and get like the hair milk and they also have a gel now. I wasn't gonna go crazy and do that, so I just said one thing at a time. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take y'all through this video real quick because it's a bust. So first and foremost, um, trying to wash and condition my hair on camera. I don't know how y'all YouTubers do it cause I had the bathroom looking like the dolphin exhibit, okay? In an aquarium. I thought I was gonna have to swim out. So recording that, bust. And then I said, no, keep it positive. Show them how the deep conditioner looks on your hair and how it looks after. So I did that. As you can see, it's um, super like thick. It's on top of my hair. It's blending into my hair. There's areas where it's completely absorbed in and then there's areas where it's not quite. But that deep conditioner, y'all, it feels just the same as it did when I used to use it before. So this is my complete and total length here. And um, after I took the deep conditioner out, washed it completely out, my hair was so moisturized, it was shiny, it just looked really healthy, plump, and good. So I was like, oh my God, this video is so lit. Like, I was really feeling myself. So I went on then to section my hair off into four sections. I'm getting ready to use just a little bit of conditioner in there to keep my hair nice and moisturized, almost like a leave-in. And then I went forward to doing my flat twist. And I also, in this video, wanted to show you guys Yolanda Renee's hanging band to knot that I was going to try doing, right? So, throughout my twist out, uh, well, throughout my flat twist, I was just, you know, going with the flow. Everything was feeling like normal. Um, my hair was taken to the product pretty good. I did have areas where there was a little buildup, but like most products I use, can to whatever the case may be, I do get that buildup, but it dries like really good and you'll never know when I'm taking my hair out in the morning. No flakes, no nothing. So, twist out was done. I do say this could be a little bit of my fault because I didn't give my hair enough time to air dry understandable it might be me not it but i'm taking my hair down and i'm realizing that it's still a little wet and then there's still a little product in some areas that hasn't necessarily penetrated in or dried up so i was like okay well that's expected Shanice. you didn't let your hair dry all the way don't make it a big deal so as i'm going i'm taking it out i'm taking it out it just wasn't defined enough to make a style right so i was just like i won't make this into a style 
um, that's ugly and requires me having to do too much, you know, moving of my hair and adding gel or anything. Just gonna do a simple sum up, sum down. Okay. I finished that, I went off camera, and I just, I didn't do the bun just yet, but I kinda just showed, <laughs> I'm so stupid, y'all. I kinda just showed what, <laughs> what it looked like like what my definition was talking about right so as i'm getting ready to turn the camera off i look down and i'm just seeing like these white flakes and i was like um what it did what it did what it did so i was just like oh no 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 i was going to try to use the product again tonight so that it could actually set into my hair dry and i could have a really defined style but at this point i was just like bro are those flakes is my hair crunchy unfortunately shea moisture it's a no for me bro it's a no you didn't think sis you didn't even try i don't know what you put in this product but it's not it. To me, I feel like most custards that I see, now mind you, I don't use custards, okay? It's not really my thing. But um, most of them that I see, they have a different consistency. This consistency is very thick. It's creamy. It's so similar to the deep conditioner. So like when I was actually putting this in my hair, I was like, ooh, this feels thick. I don't know if it's actually gonna moisturize in. But it did for the moment. I just don't know, like I'm looking at some of these flakes now because I was kind of dusting my hair before I turned the camera on. I'm looking at this and I'm just like, wow, man. I'll have to wash this out just so I can at least do another style without any product buildup on there. So, y'all, I'm done with Shea Moisture. I am because that's disappointing. The products that I do have, I'll finish out. But I won't necessarily venture off and go trying no stuff because as we see, it's a bust. I was hearing that they were changing like all the, you know, ingredients in their products. Um, one of my friends was on Twitter and she mentioned that in the raw shea butter line that I like from Shea Moisture, they um, added in some more ingredients. And I told her the color changed because it used to be like a golden color and now it's just a white color for their shampoo. So I was like, hmm. <sighs> hocus pocus like it's all right it's all right it's still good give it another chance it, it was always good to me mm -hmm. yep i see where second chances got me right so i'm gonna leave it up to you guys drop some things in my like drop Drop some product lines down here, preferably black owned business product lines. Let me know what you guys want to see me trying here on my channel. While I have my natural hair out, I want to do more tutorials with different products to show anyone with my type of hair texture what this product will do. I'll be your guinea pig, trust this, I got you. So just let me know your favorite products below, um, what kind of styles you guys want to see me do. Don't talk about me looking like Ronald McDonald. I got it. It looked like I need a big red nose on my face right now. Got it, but y'all don't have to keep saying it, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching, and you already know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below everything that I asked you to, and don't forget to press that red subscribe button, baby, and tap that bell so you never miss another video upload.